one thing you'll notice when watching a Mac volleyball game this season, all of the players are wearing masks during competition. This was something that took some getting used to. It was really, really weird. We're like, oh my goodness, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to do this. Uh, just because it gets so hot and it gets so sweaty. Despite wearing masks since the Bobcats resume practice in the summer, they still have to make sure it's covering their mouth and noses at all times. Maybe the hardest part is keeping them over our noses. I notice in mine, especially with a lot of the pictures, has been my nose is out all the time and just like public relations issues. It's like, okay, we're playing in masks, so you gotta play in the mask. Not only do the masks help slow the spread of COVID, but also allow the Bobcats to be required to test less frequently. This means that we only have to test twice every other week per person instead of everybody testing three times per week. And whether that means there's cost savings or whether that means that's four less times over two weeks that a person has to get up early and be over here at the combo at 7 a.m. or whatever time for the testing, all those things are positive. To make this season happen, the players have had to make sacrifices to their social lives to try and avoid the virus and continue to test negative. Limiting the amount of people I can see, obviously. Um, Our team has limited that number down to one, so we're going to all try to see one person outside of the team. Ohio goes on the road for games at Bowling Green and Eastern Michigan this weekend. They return to Athens on Thursday, February 25th, when Toledo comes to the combo. For WEB Sports... I'm Michael Roth.